Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are super stoked. We have booked ourselves a vintage 1960s VW camper van and we're going to go spend four days on the south coast in it. Ready for this, Joe? Woohoo! Very retro, very unlike us. Let's get on the road. We've got a few hours drive until we go, pick it up and then check it out. She looks gorgeous on the pictures. I'm super excited. just thought I should add a little context to today. Joe and I have booked a vintage VW camper. It's about two hours away from home. So we've been on the road for about an hour and a half. We've stopped off at a beautiful little pub for a bit of lunch before we pick up our van as we can't get it for a couple of hours yet. Pretty stoked about this. This pub looks gorgeous. Look at some of this. Gone for Joanne. Hummus. Hummus. And bloomy fries. Bloomy fries. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. My burger is not here yet. Check out my burger. Wow. Look at that. Woohoo. Buttermilk chicken. After a quick pit stop here at the Mill Pub, it is time to get back on the road and go pick up our camper van. We're a little bit excited now. We're about 15 minutes away. Let's hit the road again. Oh my God, this van looks absolutely brilliant. What do you reckon, Joe? It looks sick. Oh, check this out. I saw you from across the road. There has been a change of plan. We were supposed to be in the blue one, but there's a slight gas leak on the cooker. And uh, the owner did say it would be okay to take, but the red one is available. So he said, take that one instead. That's fully working and tested. He's a bit more comfortable with that. So he's just gone to put some fuel in it and then we're gonna get some shots of it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Now this is the bad boy we've gone for. She is an absolute beauty. Push down on the roof on the outside. Make sure all the fabric is uh, tucked away first. As, yep. you, as you see it, yep. and then twist those and just pop them off. Yeah. Yep. When you're pushing the roof up, use these instead of this. Okay. I'll use the bar in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you just push it up until you hear it click, and you'll see two pop studs, one on either rail. Yeah. Yeah. And that's your roof up. Yeah, two, sh two champagne glasses, two wine glasses, two cups, two beakers, two coffee cups, perfect, perfect, two chopping perfect. boards, nice fork spoons. Saucepan, frying pan, uh, utensils, kitchen knives, and a little foldable bowl, and a red kettle to go with your awesome. red van. We brought tea bags. So, in the back, you've got the two batteries, and on either side, you've got a green little knob on one battery on each battery, and that basically turns them on and off. So, if right. you were walking out for the day, I would advise you just to kill that battery there. Which is the right hand side one. Yeah. Is that the driver's battery? Right, okay. So Matt, you've got a water bowser there. Um, I, I would advise you not to drink out of that. We've tap. brought loads of bottles yeah. of water just yeah. in case. So for washing up and stuff, you can basically, you know. Um, do you want to sit in the driver's seat, Matt? Yep. Yeah, so turn. Yep. Safety briefing over. I've just been shown how to use it. This thing looks absolutely epic. I am so buzzing right now. Oh my god. Ooh, life on the open road. Check out that speedo. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, first impressions of this is it's weird to drive. Like the Mercedes we drove down in is like nice and automatic. Aircon and comfy. This 
This is my aircon. Oh, it's like rolling back the years. It feels so strange driving this. I'm absolutely loving it. We're only about 10 miles out. We've got a couple of hours drive to Durdle Door. So um, we'll catch up with you in Durdle Door. Well, we are roughly about 10 minutes away from our campsite driving this. I've been like a little kid on Christmas day. Like it's unbelievable. It's so nostalgic for me. Um, we're gonna get to the campsite and then we're gonna give you our first thoughts on what it's like to be driving a vintage 1960s V-Dub camper van. We have arrived here at Durdle Door campsite. We've got the most spectacular view, which I'll show you in a sec. We've hooked up, we've kind of loosely set up. Joe's got a beer out nice and ready for us. Check out this view that we have got tonight, it's unreal. So this is the view we've got out of this campsite overlooking the sea wow this is just unbelievable i cannot believe it there she is just chilling beer in hand already van set up cheers joanne First impressions of hiring a V-Dub 1966 camper van split screen has been truly brilliant. It's been so much fun. I kid you not, when I was driving it along earlier, I was like a little kid on Christmas Day. I couldn't stop smiling. And you know when everyone sees a supercar and they stare at it? And that's what happens when you drive this. You're kind of driving it through and it's got that nostalgic feel, that kind of vintage feel you don't really see them and everywhere you drive everyone just looks at you or wants to come and talk to you if you stop but they don't think you're an idiot or a rich sod because you're driving an expensive supercar they actually think you're kind of cool and wish they were kind of driving it i've so enjoyed this first half a day with this camper van we've kind of just pitched up for the evening Joe's got a beer on the go. We're just sat here relaxed. We aren't gonna do a full detailed review of what it's like to live in a split screen for about four days is what we've got it for. So we'll do a full review of that in a few days, but our final thoughts on our first day has been fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Tomorrow we're going to explore Durdle Door and the beach and everything that's got to offer. So check out in the next video. Guys, remember if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big like. Please subscribe to my channel and remember, live life, walk out and I'll see you in the next one.